Hey guys, welcome back to Lindsay Loves. So today I have a special try on for you. This is something that I haven't done before, but I am partnering up with someone. She's actually somebody local. Um, she lives in my town and she is a thrifter and reseller on Poshmark and Mercari and a lot of other apps. Um, her name is Chelsea and she goes by Monarch Alley for her stores. So I will leave a list with all the links to all of her storefronts so that you can shop all of these items. That's one thing that's really cool about this is that in my last haul, I showed you all my thrifted pieces. Unfortunately, you can purchase those exact pieces, but in this haul, you can. So if you see something that you're interested in and you want to check it out, I will leave a link to every item that's available and you can go from there and see what you like and browse her shop. Chelsea is actually a real life friend. Um, we met kind of online, kind of in person. It's a long story, but basically in her full-time job, she runs the marketing for a company in town um, that puts on a lot of events. And I happen to go to a lot of those events. And so we teamed up for that a long time ago. And she does really cool stuff with that. Um, she puts on really cool things like playing the It's a Wonderful Life movie in our old theater in town. Um, that happens to be my favorite movie, so things like that when we would just bump into each other or see each other at those events. We kind of found out by accident that we both had YouTube channels, and so I went to check hers out, and it is amazing. She is the queen of vintage and thrift. When I think of Chelsea, I think of like a 1950s pinup girl, but also kind of like a punk rock chick. Mix those two together, that's what I think of when I think of Chelsea. <laughs> She's probably laughing at me right now, but that's what I think. So anyway, she has the coolest store. She sells a lot of vintage pieces, so you're going to see some vintage things in here. Um, you're going to see anything from the 1950s to something that's brand new with tags. Um, there are lots of brand name items. There's a pair of designer jeans, so it's this really cool mix. And she actually went personal shopping for me, which felt like such a luxury, and picked out these pieces specifically for me to try on. So that's what we're going to do today, and I'm going to get right into it because I am so excited to see what she's brought over. And hopefully <laughs> I can stop myself from buying all of these things so that you guys have a chance to. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Right, this first outfit might be one of my favorites. I just love it already. Um, I'll give you all the details. I did want to say really quickly that this bag is really awesome. It's a Lucky Brand bag, but it sold out right as she was dropping this off to me, actually. So I am packing this up to take back to her right now. Um, but if you see anything that you like in this haul, then you want to get on it and purchase it because I can't guarantee how long that any of these items are going to be listed in her shop. So get on it right away if there's something that you love. This first piece is an amazing vintage sweater. This is from the 1950s. And one thing that Chelsea and I, I think, both have in common is that we love things that are old and vintage. Um, and so I always think about who wore this, what their story was, and I just think it's awesome. Um, but I also think it's an awesome piece to wear. And that is what's so cool about thrifting, is that not only are you getting something that someone else has loved and had a story with, but it's a way to get sustainable items that are quality items. They're not getting thrown away, but they're getting reused. It's pretty awesome. Um, and this piece is just amazing. It's an argyle sweater. This is a size medium. I would say it runs probably a little on the small side. Um, it's not itchy, and I expected a 1950s sweater to not be the softest sweater, and it's actually really cozy and nice. Um, it has this gray detail on the neck, on the v-neck, and then the cuffs, and on this bottom hem. And then it's just this really bright argyle plaid. So cool. I love this style. It's so preppy and cute. And I would totally wear this outfit out. I wish that I had these pieces. Um, these are a pair of actually designer jeans. So these are AG jeans. I've never been uh, fancy enough to own a pair of AG jeans. Might have to scoop these up if one of you guys don't. Um, but these are a raw hem, and they're a little cropped on me. I really like these. They are really stretchy and really soft, really, really comfortable. I can see why um, the AG price tag is normally so expensive, brand new. Um, but they are really nice jeans. This is what the back looks like. And they are a size 27. I'm normally a 28, so they are stretchy enough that they're fitting me really comfortably. 
So I would say they fit a size 6 pretty well. Um, I just paired them with my Valerie booties from my Target haul. I'll post a link to that if you missed the shoe try on haul, but I love this outfit. I think this is so cute, super preppy, right up my alley. I think Chelsea knocked it out of the park with this one, and I think she found some really great pieces. This next piece is not for the meek. It is super bold, and I absolutely love it, actually. I think it's really cool. So this is a vintage cardigan, and it has these front pockets, which is really nice. Just these big buttons down the front. And it has some ribbing on the cuff. This one is not quite as soft as the first vintage sweater, but it's going to be one of those that you're going to wear a long sleeve shirt underneath anyway. Um, this is definitely a keep you warm, cozy kind of sweater, so I really like it, and I think it's really cool. Um, I kept the same jeans on. Those are the AG jeans, and then I paired it with these shoes that Chelsea is selling. These are amazing. These are from Anthropology, and these shoes actually go from a slip-on kind of booty into a mule. The yellow part folds down, and you can kind of turn that into like a loafer style, so it's really cool. Um, they have probably about a two-inch block heel, and they're really comfortable to walk in. I'll show you what they look like with the heel folded down in a minute, but I really love these. Um, I think there's something that's unique. You think it's just a neutral and then you have that pop of color when you walk by and I just love that. So love these. And then the sweater is just so fun. I mean, it's just super cute. Okay, I think this next piece is something that we all want to be living in in 2020. It's just that perfect, cozy, soft, warm piece. So this is a fleece sweatshirt and it has the zipper here. So if you unzip it, you have this big collar that folds down and it looks like that. So it's this asymmetrical zipper, and it's really cute. I like it unzipped like that. I think it's a cool look. And it's just a white fleecy pullover. You have a kangaroo pocket right here, and it goes all the way through to the other side, which I think is cool. So it's like a hoodie. And it's got the ribbing at the cuffs and out the hem. It's really cute, really soft and warm. I mean, you don't even have to wear layers underneath this. This is all you need, and it's like wearing a warm, fuzzy jacket, so I really love this one. I kept on the same jeans again, and then I folded down the anthro shoes into the mule style so that you could see what that looks like, and I think that is really cool. So it's just like two shoes in one, and I think they're really sweet. And here's an up-close look at that anthro pair that I just wanted to show you the detail on. That yellow on the back, and it's just so cute. I think those are so unique. They're so neutral, and then at the same time, they're so playful and colorful. I think it's such a cool mix, so I really love these, and I hope somebody scoops these up so I don't, because I'm really tempted. Last outfit in these jeans, and then we're going to switch out to a different pair, but I love this top with these jeans. This is a Philosophy brand top. And it is this really pretty dusty rose color. I love it. It is incredibly soft. This is actually an extra large, but it's not fitting me like an extra large. It's just a little bit roomy in a good way and just a little oversized. This fits me at just the right height. I think it's really cute. Um, these are mid-rise jeans, so I wouldn't want it to be super short. And I really like the way that looks. It is such a soft and comfy sweater. Um, this is one you just want to snuggle up in when it's cold. So Chelsea did a good job with this one, and I think this piece is really cute. I love it with the cropped jeans, and I love it with the anthro shoes. Just really adorable. This next outfit is so sweet. I love every part of it. So we have this sweater, which is a cropped sweater. I'm barely <laughs> able to get away with it because these are not high-waisted jeans. But this is a size small, and you can see from the side, it is very cropped. It's super cute with this lace detail on the bottom. I absolutely love that. And it's just this plain kind of ribbed knit look. It's really pretty. Love the color. So I paired it with this hat from Amazon. You've seen me wear a million times um, because I just think those neutrals look really cute together. And then these jeans are a pair of brand new with tag jeans. They are from New York and Company and they are their legging style. And you can see how long they are on me. I really love this length. They're super stretchy and comfortable and just really cute. Show you the back. There's the tags. So these are a size six. They fit like a size six. They're perfect. So I really like these. 
I paired them um, with these flats from my Target haul, my shoe try-on haul, because they match this bag. I have to talk about this bag. So Chelsea sent this over and I couldn't believe this. I actually saw this on her Instagram a little while ago and thought it was adorable. So I know somebody is going to be snatching this up really soon. But this is so cute. It's a genuine leather bag. It has this little tag right here that says genuine leather. And it is an ostrich look to it. It's really cool. I love the little bump details like that. And it has these top handles that you can wear on your shoulder or on the crook of your arm. And then on the other side here, it has this shoulder strap that you could wear as a shoulder or crossbody. And I didn't want to take the wrapping off of it because it is brand new, so I just left it. But I wanted to show you that. And then it has this pocket on the front that's a zippered pocket. And then let me show you the inside. So you have these two slip pockets on the front and then a zippered pocket in the back. And it is fully lined. It really smells good, guys. It smells like actual leather because it is. So this is really awesome. I love this cognac color. I think it's perfect for everything leave a link to Chelsea's YouTube channel down below. Um, I definitely think you need to go check her out. She has some really cool stories on the things that she finds and how she finds them and go check out the lamp video. That's all I'm going to say. When you do go watch her channel, you'll know what I mean when I say she's just like the cool girl that you want to be and she'll never get there. But I did just want to say I kind of feel like a cool girl right now in this outfit. I'm not going to lie. I love this look so much. Chelsea said that this next sweater reminded her of candy buttons, like those old school candy buttons, and I completely agree with that. It's really funny, but this top is really cool. It's a thin sweater, and it's a cream color with these neon pink little puffs that are so cute, and I kept the same jeans on, and then I paired it with these amazing snow boots. These are from the Totes brand, and they are waterproof. They're a size 9 and they're fitting me like a size 9, so true to size and really cute. I just went downstairs to give my kids a snack and they looked at the sweater and said, I love your sweater. <laughs> Both of them did. So I guess this is a kid approved sweater. Um, I'm feeling extra cool right now because my kids like it. I wanted to show this coat over this sweater because I think they go really well together. They're really cute. Um, I love this dusty rose color of this jacket. And it looks like it'd be really thick, but it's kind of that mid-weight, so it's not like super, super warm. It's more of like outfit topper warm or early fall or spring would be perfect too. So it's really cozy though. I love this kind of texture. I think it's really pretty, like those teddy coats. And it has a like a circle zipper pull here. And this is new with tags, by the way. So let me show you what it looks like zipped up with this outfit. Here's what it looks like zipped up, and then I just kept the same jeans and boots on. I think it looks like you're just going out for a cold winter walk. Maybe you're a student on campus and you've got a big bag that you have your books in. I just think it's a really cool look. I love the cropped style of this coat, and I love the teddy look of it. I've wanted one of those teddy jackets forever, so this is an awesome one. I definitely like this as a whole look, though. I think it's really cute. This next coat is one of my favorite pieces that Chelsea sent over. I love it so much. Um, this is from Gap, and it's this blue speckled coat. It's got all these like little details of different colors, but it's dark navy blue, and it has a moto style. Let me show you the collar because it's really cool. So you have zippers right here, and you can either leave it zipped or I like unzipping it and having it like this. You have a ribbed collar on the top part and kind of like this blazer style. It has buttons that snap and it's a cropped style which is really flattering. Um, this is a large but it fits me fine. I think it's one of those versatile kind of styles that you could wear open or closed. I'll show you what it looks like closed in a minute but it does have these side pockets right here and Again, I feel like a cool girl in this one. I love this one so much. Um, I kept the same dark wash jeans on. I was going to pair black jeans with it, but I decided that I actually like these with it. I just paired it with the same black booties that I've shown, and I just cuffed the jeans up a little bit because they are pretty long, which is amazing. But this jacket, guys, is so great. It's a wool blend, so it's going to actually keep you warm. It's not just for decoration. Um, but it's just this really preppy cool style. So let me show you what it looks like actually buttoned up. 
I raised your hand if you knew I was coming back with a hat too. I didn't even know that, but that's what ended up happening. So um, this is what it looks like all buttoned up. And I think it's got about five buttons. It goes to about here and then the rest is open, like I said, with the zipper detail that you can adjust like you want. But this is what it looks like from the side and see there's not a lot of room I mean it's just a little bit so it's perfect to have a thick sweater underneath really like this length I think it's super flattering like this and I love the way it looks with the dark wash jeans and the black booties it gives it a really streamlined look and I think the skinny jeans like this the legging jeans are a really good choice to pair with something cropped like this so I am absolutely loving this outfit and this coat is just the cutest guys. Also, I wanted to quickly say if you weren't sure how Poshmark and Macari work that they have a little button that you heart the item that you're interested in. Just it's like a like button. And when you click that heart, um, that kind of bookmarks that item for you. So then the seller can send you offers. So sometimes they will send you a lower priced offer. So if you see a piece that you like, you might want to hit that heart button if you're not ready to pounce on it just yet. And that way you might be able to get a bigger discount on something that's already discounted. If you really love an item, I would suggest that you scoop it up because it probably won't be around for a long time. But that is an option for you. And then this last dress is one of these versatile pieces that I think you could wear so many ways and it would look really great. Um, it's like an elbow sleeve length and it's this pretty burgundy color. I think you could wear this almost any season. Um, it's that kind of swingy jersey material that just flows really nicely. has a little bit of a scoop neck and then it flows out a little bit into an A-line and I think this looks so cute for fall and I think you could bring it into winter and even the spring. Really cute style. I'll show you the buttons on the back. Um, I don't know if you can really see them here but I'll show you on the hanger just so you can get a good idea. The buttons on the back are really really cute. Um, so I want to style this a couple ways. The first way I thought would be cute was with a hat of course um, and then I have these over the knee boots and I thought this would be a good way that you could bring it into the fall and winter season. Um, I don't bring these out a lot actually, but I just thought for a dress like this, it would be really cute. Another way that I thought it would be fun to wear it would be with this teddy coat over the top. And then I paired it with some tights. Um, let me know, by the way, has anyone else worn tights in 2020? Because I have not. This is the first time I've broken these out and I don't even know how long. But I thought, how cute would this be with some little booties and some tights? So that's a good way to winterize it, and I think that's a really cute look too. And then let me show you the third way. I don't know, this might be my favorite way that I've worn it. So I just took this cropped sweater that I showed earlier in the video and threw it over the dress and kept on the same tights and boots. And how cute is this? I love this look. The cropped sweater is just the perfect length, I think, for this skirt, and it works really well together. Just sweet. I think it's really pretty. I'd wear this to church in a heartbeat. I'd wear this out even on a date night. I think they're both really cool pieces and I really like them paired together like this. So, love this one. I talked about that button detail on the back of the dress and I just wanted to show it really quickly. It just has these few buttons that go down and I think that gives it such a special little touch on the back. I gotta admit I'm giggling a little bit at this last piece that Chelsea sent over. Um, I don't know <laughs> if she gave it to me as a challenge or if she thinks I'm just this cool, but I'm not this cool. Somebody out there is though, and I know somebody's gonna scoop this up because it is a cool piece. Um, I just styled it the most basic way that I possibly could because it is kind of a bold piece. You'll see what I mean. So this sweater was from my thrift haul. If you missed the haul um, that was on Monday's video, I will link that. But this is um, a consignment store piece that I found that I love. And then I have on um, a pair of Wild Fable uh, leggings that are kind of a Spanx dupe. And then just a pair of black sneakers. Here's the piece that Chelsea sent over. <laughs> Guys, I mean, it's kind of amazing, right? This is a brand new Steve Madden bag, and I know they call them um, belt bags now. I still call them fanny packs because that's when I grew up. Not sure what my husband's going to think about this one, but actually I really kind of like it with this outfit because it's a simple enough outfit that you could wear something like this and get away with it, I think. Kind of sporty and kind of cool, right?
So there you go, Chelsea. This is as cool as I can get styling this one, but I think it is a really cool piece and somebody's gonna scoop this up for sure. Um, what are we calling these now, by the way? Are we doing the belt bag or are we doing the fanny pack? Still saying fanny pack. Um, I'm sure that's not the cool way to say it, but that's how I say it, so. Anyway, brand new piece by Steve Madden, so I had to show this one too. All right, that does it for the haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that maybe you found a piece that you want to pick up, but I had a blast styling these items. I think it was really cool to have a personal stylist and have some pieces picked out just for me. It was really fun and I found a lot of cool stuff. Um, it's going to be hard not to get everything, <laughs> but I'm going to leave some things for you guys. So if you want to check out Chelsea at Monarch Alley, then make sure you check out the links below and I'll have everything listed. Um, if you liked this haul and you want to see more thrift hauls like this, then I would be happy to do them. I think it was a blast. So comment down below and let me know what you think about it. I would love for you to hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.